Hey gang, welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys checking today's video out, much appreciated. And today we're gonna to be talking about some clear water bass fishing secrets, gonna break a few myths and sort of gonna give you guys some tips and advice on fishing clear water because I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about how bass move and feed and react in clear water. And I've fished it my whole life, so I got a lot of good tips I'm gonna share with you guys on that. We'll get into that here in a second. Real quick, just wanted to remind everybody, if you guys get a chance, please hit the view products tab that's on the screen when you first click on the video. It's uh, 30 products in there that I list I thought you guys might be interested in. And every time you click on one of those products, um, the channel gets a small portion of that proceed. Uh, it's a good way to support the channel. You don't have to spend any money. I much appreciate it there. Okay guys, clear water, let's talk about that. Being from the Ozarks, man, I got a lot of experience in clear water fished it all over the country. I really love fishing clear water. If I if I had my choice, I would rather fish extremely clear water or extremely dirty water. Like I, I love the extreme. I love picking up a big spinner bait and a flipping stick and getting in really dirty, muddy water. And I love fishing in gin clear, 20 foot clarity water too. But I think a lot of times, a lot of people, um, there's a lot of misconceptions about clear water as far as bass behavior in it. And I think a lot of the people that don't fish clear water are a lot of the ones that have this because sometimes I, you know, I've had some on the water lessons like at Table Rock where Table Rock is considered a clear lake, but it's not really anymore. It's got, it's, it's getting, it's getting dirtier every year. But a lot of the times on the on water lessons I give, we'll have like maybe four foot of visibility. And some of the guys I take out are like, I can't believe how clear this water is. This is unbelievable because they're used to fishing muddy water and they uh, they can't believe, you know, how did we catch them in that, in that visibility? I don't consider four foot really clear, clear water. I consider it clean, but not clear. But here's a couple of misconceptions and a couple of things you want to remember about clear water. Clear water, the, the number one thing about it is bass really, um, the techniques used to catch the bass in clear water are heavily influenced by, by the light intensity and wind and not so much in dirty water. It's like the opposite. If you're, if you're fishing in dirty water, the light intensity and the wind does not play that ba big of a factor. And a lot of times it plays the opposite from clear water, but the, the amount of sunlight intensity that you have, clouds, wind, rain, all that type of stuff dictate, uh, technique that you use in correlation with water temperature. So I, this video would, we could, I'll probably do like an, one of those hour long seminars on just clear water fishing, but I wanted to give you guys just a foundation. First of all, first thing you want to remember in clear water guys is that you can still power fish. A lot of people think that you've got to, you know, fish light line and little baits in clear water. And that's not the case. You can fish big baits in clear water. It, um, a lot of it depends on the time of the year again, but, um, big fish will hit big or bass will hit big power baits in clear water. If you're fishing clear water with big power baits, a lot of times you need those nasty days. You need those southerly air flows, you know, fairly stiff winds, maybe some heavy overcast. That's when they get aggressive and they'll bite those big lures. Now, sometimes it has to do with the species of lake, the species of bass in the lake. If you've got a smallmouth lake, those fish react different in clear water. If you've got largemouth only different, they react different. Or if you got a mix of spotted bass, smallmouth and largemouth. I have caught some big fish um, like on topwater lures in 20 foot of visibility on slick calm days. Uh, bass will hit topwaters all the time in the clear water lake as long as the water temperatures are you know, over 60 degrees or so and you don't have to have wind to catch them on that. The wind generated baits I'm talking about tend to be like your your bigger swim baits, maybe some crank baits, <coughs> spinner baits, jerk baits, that type of stuff. <coughs> so another thing about it is, um, I think a lot of people also, another myth we'll talk about is people don't realize how shallow that bass will get in clear water. Now, as you can see here, I'm down here at the Creek with Elijah right here. You know, you've got, this looks like bathtub water here. You can have gin clear water and there'll be a percentage of the bass, as long as that water temperature is over like 55 or 60 degrees, that live in, you know, knee deep water here. They live super shallow in the gin clear water. They're not victim of the clear water. So one of the things you wanna remember when you're fishing a clear water lake is don't discount the super, super shallow water. Now, obviously it depends on the time of the year. You know, if you're in around the spring, there's gonna be more fish in that shallow water because they're 
pre-spawn, spawning and early post-spawn. But even in the summertime and the fall time, there's still bass to be caught in that super shallow water. Most of the time, a top water is gonna be your best choice with that. Also in clear water, you need to remember his lakes is the bass tend to suspend more. The cleaner the water, the more you're gonna have a combination of suspended bass, shallow bass, and bottom bass. So that's why a lot of times, what are you doing there? Can you hold this? Okay. A lot of times, um, that's one of the reasons a clear water lake is a little bit tougher for a lot of people is because you don't have all the bass in one particular depth zone like you would in okay, a lake that has... Okay, push me all the way to the island. Okay, just a second. Push me all the way to there. Okay, okay there we go. A lot of times, you know, if you're in a lake that's got 12 inches of visibility, those fish are, all the fish are going to be shallow. But if you've got a lake that's got 15 foot of visibility, you may have 30% of the bass in three foot of water, 30% in 20 foot of water, and 30% suspended out over 50 foot of water. That's some, that's sort of the, 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 you know, the typical thing that happens with clear water fisheries and that. But I think the main thing, well, and it, this will be a good seminar for clear water. I mean, a good hour long seminar. I'll talk about tips and techniques and give you specifics on it. But the, there's a couple different things I just wanted to lay a foundation is you can still power fish in clear water. It's really good for that. You don't have to fish deep. Um, the the bass are gonna be use a variety of depth zones. And um, you can, uh, you know, basically be, be a lot more, you can have a lot wider diversity of techniques in clear water than you have dirty water. Dirty water lakes tend to have a, a small window of techniques that work. But on a clear water lake where you got 10 foot of visibility, you can catch them on any finesse technique and about any power fishing technique that you have based upon the weather and the wind conditions. So it's my favorite. If I, if, if you, if you said, Randy, we're going to, we're going to, you can go to your favorite lake setup. You know, what's, what do you want to do? My favorite lake setup would be a gin clear, gin clear lake with a mixed species of smallmouth spotted and largemouth bass. I think that's one of the funnest lakes to fish because there's just so much to do. So Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in the video. I'm get back here and play with Elijah a little bit in his boat. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll talk later. See you.